are here for another show at Foreclosure Friday. Yes, it's Friday again. Can you believe it? Seems like it was just Friday yesterday. That's how fast the market's moving. That's how fast things are moving. And that's how fast deals are happening. It's the speed of implementation. I'm here today. We, we did a little interview with my good friends Brett and Kim at their personal house. They're at their personal house that, that we ended up helping them get this property through our real estate company. But now we're at their production facility. Is that what we call it? A production facility, their plant. I call it a plant, production facility. This is my second time here. Matter of fact, when we first met them, they had a, like an open house where they had a lot of people in here. It had hundreds of people, hundreds of people, news channels, TV, 9, 35, Fox, any all those channels coming through here just checking this out. Because you know what? The tiny house business is hot. I don't care what you think or who, if you didn't even like them, but I'll, I'm just gonna share this stuff with you. I think it's so fascinating. I know it's so fascinating enough that Debbie and I are invested or investing in with them. And we just wanna show you kind of what we invested with. So here's Miss Kim here. And we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about this little project. So this is a, this is a startup, right? So this is the yeah. beginner stage of a... We started this two days ago. Two days ago. Two days ago, yep. And this is a 30, Six foot uh, tiny home, and it's it's a part of a dual. Uh, we call it a dog truck. There's actually going to be two units when this is all finished. You can see that we have uh, some uh, French doors here on the side, and then a single slope roof, so that both single slope roofs are going to meet each other like this. Wow! And then a, a huge porch in the center. So this is half of it. This is half. And there's going to be another half over here right. that yeah. connects together. Wow, and you said it's 36 feet long. This one's 36. And yep. the width here looks like about 12. 20? 12? 12, yeah. Why does it look so yeah. massive to me? Well, maybe because we're inside. <laughs> <laughs> but we're inside their facility, so it doesn't get wet and all that good stuff. And, you know, it's it's uh, it's amazing how they start these things, how they do these things. Two days, he said. Mm -hmm. Two days this thing is put together. Now, is this one... Uh, you built some on wheels. Is this one on wheels, or how is this going to happen? This is actually strapped to the ground, and you can get a mortgage on it. This is something, ah. a product that we developed here uh, for Florida Building Code. So, yes, this will not ever be on wheels except for on the tractor trailer. Going to the place it's going. Yep. So, that's pretty good news. So, people ask, well, how do you have to fund these things? Do you have to have all cash? You Can you get a mortgage? And she just answered, Tim just answered that question, that once they hit the ground, you can physically get a mortgage. Matter of fact, Debbie and I have worked with a few of your buyers in some of this arena to get their like a little bridge loan because from from deposit till build out, you can't get the mortgage until it's actually landed. Right. And exactly. that so there's a little there's a little lag time there. So what is that lag time? So you said two days here. What's the finished product date? So by the time that we start framing, we always want to have it absolutely completed in three months. Usually it's about six weeks that we're, we're completed. Normally our groundwork, the site work, takes much longer than us building. Wow, yeah. wow. So so from start to finish, 90 days, because I know that's the, the number, because I know those bridge loans were kind of like 90 day long, and, and to be honest with you, they paid them off, or not down, but the buyers paid off those loans because they got the mortgage quicker. That means they got the unit done, built, ready to go, planted in the ground and got the mortgage on it that quick because they already have all that stuff. So do you have a preferred vendor for lenders that help your buyers buy these or do the buyers come in with their own lenders? How does that work? I, you know, actually both. A lot of times they have their own lender. They don't have a special designation. So there's no special loan that wow. they need to get. It's a typical mortgage. It's currently attached to the ground. So yeah. But it's usually, uh, we do have a preferred vendor that knows our product, and so it's a little wow. easier, but many times they come in with their own vendor. Wow. That's so, so housing now, affordable housing is what we're calling this, right? Right. So so this is going to be a double, this is 60 by 24. Yeah. Well, that's 24 inches. Oh. See, that's what I mean. That's I was still trying to get it wider than it is. I can't believe it's only... 12 foot, 12 foot wide, I don't know. 
And that's just a, you know, uh, illusion there, you know, right? It's just an illusion. So, so basically, uh, basically anybody can get a loan on these. What about comps and stuff like that? So when they do loans on these, how do lenders get values and comps to know how much to loan? Do you, do you know that part of it at all? You know, that has been a challenge, and we're still trying to address that. Um, these two houses that we have here are going to a veto. Uh, a lot of times it seems like the, the uh, people that establish the comps, they get a pass if they want to. So many of them pass. They don't know what the product is, so they don't, they don't want to uh, do the appraisal on it. Um, so we do have an appraisal now. Uh, in, it, they are having trouble finding comps, but it seems that the lenders are still able to loan on it even without comps. Is it because the borrower puts more money down on the loan? So they have a significant down payment on these loans? They can. I mean, uh, usually it's a 20% down. Okay. So, so that's know, a normal, it's, it's not yeah. a FHA, uh, yeah. government back loan, any of that. It's, yeah. it's probably some other kind of lending yeah. that does it. And, and again, if you need that, they have it. So if you're looking at this stuff, I mean, I think it's fascinating uh, how they do this. I mean, I'm, I'm always, I was a kid building forts. You know, this would be the Mac Daddy Fort yeah. in my day and age. And let's take, let's, we're going to take it to some others that are a little bit more developed than this one, you know, and we're going to show you exactly what these things are doing. It's just beautiful. I love this. I just love, love this kind of stuff. So look over here. We're going to follow, you know, we're going to go the one over here that's partially made. we got to watch our camera first because they can't see the floor. So watch the big table there. So that's what I do. Got little power boxes on the outside. This is not no, uh, you know, throw a meter on a wall. This is real, real houses. I mean, they're they're tiny houses, and they and so if you take a big house and you shrink it down, this is what you get. But I tell you what, it's not as much, it's not as expensive as a larger house. So, so we're gonna go on this and go ahead. And here. So I just love the elevations with these porches. It gives it a lot of personality. Look how cute this thing is. Is this your design or Brett's design? Um, Who is the designer here? We work together to design what I usually do. You know, uh, we play around with the porches. We all set the door next door. Uh, we also have like a shed roof, which is like a floor in a house, you know, with that. that this thing's got a tongue and groove, tongue and groove ceiling on the exterior porch. You know, you just don't see that on the other products that I've seen around that, that are comparable to this. Watch your stuff there, Deb. Coming straight up here. I see it, babe. All right, we're well, coming on in here. <laughs> so come on in. Now, this is, now, how far along is this unit? So we're about 75% on this. We've got cabinets and countertops in. You can notice the appliances aren't here yet. But, uh, you know, it's a typical house. I think people are always surprised when they come in, wow, this really doesn't seem like a tiny house. Oh. And it really isn't. You have a large living room here. You can easily fit a sofa in. Um, this is an eating bar. So if you have uh, counter stools here, you can eliminate the need for a table. Well, the table would go there. there. So that would be your dining room. This yep. is the living room. Yep. But you can also eat here. What's that curious looking thing behind you? So we didn't want to waste any space. On the inside of here is the bathroom, and that is the linen uh, closet. Oh, and then on the outside, we wanted to add another cabinet just for more storage out here. So Smart. Yeah. So you yeah. used every usable square inch, That's right. not square foot, but square <laughs> inch. Right. Square yeah. inch in these units to make them fabulous. I mean, these, look at that ceiling. Tiny groove ceiling. Look at that. What kind of ceiling do we call that? Uh, art, not, uh, pine on the groove is what we call yeah, it. Yeah, it's pine. I'm talking about the shape. It's, uh, oh, it's a gable roof. Gable roof. Yeah. Yeah. Cathedral ceilings were what I was looking for. Oh, These okay. are cathedral ceilings in a tiny house. I tell you, it's just awesome. Yeah. So it's not, it doesn't have all the lighting all in here as much. It got some, some uh, uh, bar of light right now. And you can't see anything. But we're going to show you one that's completed. So hang in there with us. Don't go away. Now this is the master bedroom. Yeah. Look at that door right there. <laughs> I think that's slick. Use every inch you can. That's a barn door. I don't know if you guys call it barn door. That's what we call it. They call them barn door sliders. And we make them. Here. And you make them yep. here. Uh -huh. so now I know where I can get my damn barn door sliders for my closets. <laughs> or my doors. Or your garage. This thing is, oh, I know. I'm excited about this. 
for the garage so you can hide all your stuff. Oh, yeah. stop it. <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna build tiny houses with all that stuff in my garage. There you go. And the windows are they're normal, right. regular windows. To pass Florida code, we have to use you know Florida building code approved windows. That's so these are paint. these are yep. These are 3050 windows, so three feet wide, five feet tall. Yep. Uh, it, and it is a great uh, means of egress if you ever got into trouble here. That passes code. You can get it. You can jump right out. Right. So I just wanted to point out, um, this is all set up for a stacking washer and dryer wow. here in the closet. They'll have closet doors on here, so not seeing that. So, I mean, it's just very nice. I learned the other day, while I was doing another rehab with a, a contractor in Orlando on one of our deals, uh, he put in a 24-inch or 18-inch uh, dishwasher. And I said this on a video or two before, I didn't realize they had 18 inch dishwasher. I know they have the mobile homes or not mobile homes, but the uh, motor homes or whatever. But I didn't really realize they looked as nice as they do and, and they really look good. So there will be a dishwasher in here mm -hmm. as well as a full top stove, probably a full microwave. Right, right? with exhaust fan underneath. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's been into the outside and then refrigerator on the other side. So these things are really done up nice and I really love the floors. The, the floors are, or is this uh, Hardwood or is it laminate? No, this is vinyl. Vinyl. Looks good. That's vinyl. Oh yeah, vinyl is the king today. So these are vinyl. It wears like iron. It yeah. is awesome. Look at that. So it's a great product. So you know, what's all this hanging out here? Um, this will be a, a mini slip uh, heating and air conditioning system. One of the heads will be here, and then there's another head that's installed in the So you have dual head, right. mini and split. Each one has its own controller, so it wow. can act independently of one another. Yep. That is awesome. Who would have thought of that? I mean, you know, this is technology to its best, and again, using every square inch of space in these units to get the most out of them. And, and it's just amazing. They told me this is only, how, how much square footage here? 360. You know, when I walked in, it's just 360 square foot. Debbie and I were looking at condos in New Smyrna Beach yesterday. When I walked in, I said, Debbie, this is almost as big as our freaking condo. <laughs> but it, it looks like it is. It's 360 square feet. Our condo is 800 or 880 or whatever it is. But I'm like, wow. You know, ours is a one bedroom, one bath with kitchen and some other stuff. But I'm telling you, this is really cool. I've seen these before. It's been a couple days. But I really love the front porch. I know that it looks the front porch. Yep. Okay, watch your step yep, here. Watch your step right here. Here, let me take the phone. Okay. Here we go. We gotta get our camera person down. We don't want to crash on foreclosure Friday. Because uh, I like to play golf this weekend. So here's another porch. So this unit, so that unit's three quarters away down. Right. So we started on one. It's right now two days old. How many days do you think that is? Um, I would say that's probably about five weeks. Five weeks. Come over here, Debbie. Shoot back a little bit. I want to show them the metal roof. These things got metal roofs on these things. These little tiny houses, I mean, they're as cute as they can be. And you know, again, affordable housing. You're looking here, you're thinking about affordable housing is what you're thinking about here. And that's why Kim and Brad got into the parcel this business, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, to help that, that part of it. So let's look at this one. Now this one, is that the uh, door with the inside the glass? Right. The, the, the shade, the blinds are inside the glass. Yep. They don't stop anywhere. They go for it all. I'm telling you. Woo, this one's got some AC in it. Yeah, this one. Woo! Nice. Holy smokes. Look at this place. Same ceilings. Yep. So this is a different floor plan. The floor plan we were in before is called the Kearney. Uh, this one's called the Denali. Um, you can see it just has a little galley kitchen in it. Uh, probably a little bit larger kitchen. It's certainly a larger eating bar. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And you got a uh, living room, eating all here in one place. Right. Yep. So, so you know, it's, it's it's the millennium way is, you know, hey, we just go stay there and camp out and all that. And then they go, you know, when you're at work eight, ten hours a day, you don't need a whole lot of space in some areas. Or, if you have a mother-in-law, a father-in-law, or maybe a child, you don't want to live in your house, <laughs> this would be the place to put them right here. Right. This is fabulous. Again, the great windows. Look at all the window in this space here. I mean, you're not, you're again, this is what square footage again? This is 360. 360. Yeah. 
And, and look at the window space in this unit. Just think about this. If you're on the beach somewhere, oh, can they plant these on the beach? Is that, are they coastal approved yet or? Uh, they are. We have one installed in Monroe County. And so, yes, we passed all of those codes. Um, the only thing that is maybe a, a prohibitive thing is a lot of places require a minimum square footage. Ah. They would have to get a variance. Yeah. So, and we're working on a few of those places like yeah. that now, right? So, yeah. getting the dirt, getting it ready to go. Uh, look at this. So, this is a, it's not, is this quartz? It is a quartz countertop. Quartz yeah. countertop yeah. and a tiny home. Unfreaking believable. Cutting board, does this operate as? It, no, it's just, they did the sink cut out. Yeah, there's a sink cut out. Definitely got that. Look at here. You got, <laughs> you got panels, power panel. You know, this, you know, this, this top notch stuff. Wait till you see this bathroom, guys. Oh, I love this. This is a full bathroom. This is a full. Wow, that's yeah. nice. Isn't that nice? No. I think we should just buy one of these and take it to the beach <laughs> on wheels every weekend. How hell with it. Get the condo. We have a boat too. Oh, we have a boat. Oh, I can't. Well, we can pull a boat behind this. I don't know. We have at least. This is how long? This is uh, 36. So uh, I don't know how long we can pull trailers, but that's probably over the limit. You put that. So here's the split system she's talking about. Yep. Dual. Does this one have a dual? Yep. Saying, it's dual too. Mm -hmm. So if you come in here, Dad, you can see this dual split system. And it's got its own laundry room, yep. stackable. And then this is. Uh, closet and then i don't think we talked about it we use wow, it on demand uh water heater so that's what was poking out of the walls over yep, the closet. Yep, I, mean, right. I didn't want to bring that up because i didn't know if it was a defect or something yeah no. <laughs> it's not a uh, defect it's actually this is their heating source for the hot water yeah i mean hey you're in a tiny house you take tiny showers take <laughs> tiny baths no this is on demand so it's continual Always. you never run out of hot water well, i think we need that ourselves <laughs> This is so cute. I am so blown away. And the colors are the colors that are out right now. It looks yeah. like you guys are staying up the times. We're because trying. gray's in. Well, this is gray, right? I'm colorblind. Yes. So the grays are in. <laughs> Look at the beautiful floor. These are all the vinyl floors. Vinyl flooring. It's perfect. Yep. It's perfect. I'm sure. Now, let me ask you about the walls. Mm -hmm. Now, we saw the unit over there. You can point around. Oh, look at that big number on the side of that building, 8,400. So, <laughs> so now what do you guys fill those walls with? What do you fill it? So what is the insulation done? How are you? So we love this product. So it's an isonine foam uh, insulation. And we have a house that is installed here in Oviedo, Florida. He lives here full time and his average utility bill is $50 a month. Ooh. Yeah in florida so that is pretty tremendous so you guys we're giving you all kinds of tips here yeah. you're hearing about ventilation you're hearing about split systems you're looking at these doors that they build here i don't know if they build them on site for you but i don't know <laughs> they might they might not have enough time to build those because i'm going to show you something really cool next <laughs> and uh a lot of good ideas here for those of you who are watching a lot of experience here uh, Kim and Brad's been doing this. How long have you been doing this? Oh gosh, you know? uh, I graduated from Interior Design School in 2000. In 2000, so, so 20... Brad's been at it a lot longer than well, I were you, Was he doing tiny houses though? Oh, tiny houses, no, for five years. Five, five years, years. okay, yeah. there you go. Yeah. So to give you some background, that's good to know. She was an interior designer with the School for Interior Design. Yeah. So that means that's why all this looks fabulous in here <laughs> and all the design jobs in here. And, uh, and I mean, that, that's you just you just take from what you've learned in the past and add to it and use it to where it helps you be prosperous. I mean, they're not just being prosperous; they're helping people mm -hmm. that can't afford a home to be able to get a home. And just think about all the places that there's only one person living in this three thousand square foot house or two thousand square foot house. They don't need all that, you know. So they, they and this is the change. This might be, I think. For this the economy the way it is, for what's happening right now, coronavirus and everything's going on, this is the new you. This is the new deal. Trust me, this thing right here, these things are selling like hotcakes. Uh, I know they just told me about an order they have, which we're not going to talk about, because it's big, big order. And uh, we're, we're under, under our lips and skin right now. We see some of this tile work on the beach. Not that color, though. Yeah. It's black. Oh, yeah. So what is, what is it with that tile? 
It's just a retro it time. Man? It's, it's coming back. Yeah. It's coming back. Look yeah. at that tile. Did you want to get that tile? We saw that in a couple of units yesterday and we didn't like it. But it was black. I like this. And it's on the floor. And it's on the floor. And it's massive. Massive. Yeah. But I like this because it's well, not, yeah. it doesn't beat you up. It's actually kind of inviting, you know? Mm -hmm. But the cabinets, they're my, they are blue, right? They are. Yes. There's my color cabinet right there. It's my color. I wonder, I wonder if they're soft clothes cabinets. Look at that. Soft clothes cabinets, soft clothes drawers. They spare nothing, I'm telling you. Full dishwasher here. Right. Look at that. Stove, refrigerator, microwave, everything you need to live and enjoy. Two people can live in this easily. Easily two people. As long as they get along. As long as they get along. <laughs> if they don't get along, you know, you heard, get on the porch. Well, here's your nice porch, you know. You just have to screen it in so you don't get set up at night. So we're going to go show you now one that's a little bit different than this one. This is the last three you've seen. And uh, look at, look at here, look, look. They, they didn't leave anything out. Exterior, sunk in, GFI, I'm sure, GFI plugs. Because Brett, you know, they just don't forget nothing. Them windows are in there. Has a passcode. It's got a passcode. Look at these handrails. How unique they are. These are unique. This is unique stuff. It's not your average, ordinary look. This is way better than that. This is rough cedar, I believe. Got what this is. Rough cedar poles. They want to know what they cost. Oh, the cost. We're going to get to that. We're going to talk about my investment. Come on with us. We're going to take you to another one. Footage. If somebody has some warehouse space local to Longwood, because I don't want them to get too far away from me, <laughs> local to Longwood, let us know because we're looking for some warehouse space. Because I'm telling you what, this isn't ramping up. I know it is. I know we've got a contract on an acre working on uh, three acres in Sanford where we're going to look at doing these. And uh, we're still in the first stage. So look at this. Here's the last product. This is the last product, but it's got some wheels. So if you go take your home somewhere and you don't like your neighbor, hey, you can hook up and just haul ass. You don't have to stay there. You can move. Now this is, uh, I'm not colorblind. This is purple, I believe, <laughs> yes, with a is. yellow door. Yeah. Doggy and door. Dog ear cat door. Yeah. So this is built for somebody, right? This is not this a spec is. home where you just build it and say, I hope somebody buys it. This is how we started out. We started out, these are RV travel trailers. We worked very hard to become an RV manufacturer so that these could pass muster for financing that sort of thing in the state of Florida. So yeah, this is how we started. And then we realized that there was a real need for a one on foundation. People wanted to stay put. But this is how we started. So every one of these are, is built to the specification of the owner. They, right. They have specific needs in every single one of them. Yep. Well, I want to show you something I just noticed. I, I've been around a few days, but I want to tell you, when you see stuff like this, where it seems me, I mean, it's even under the porch, where you're going to get some rain here, maybe on a sideways wind in Florida, if that's where this unit's going. But this is metal to protect, this is flashing, to protect the water to get inside or penetrate, to help stop the water penetrating from your wood to run out your trim and all that. So, you know, I mean, that's just little things that I see, that I notice, that I know they put some thought into this oh. building. They put some thought into the, the minimal stuff, you know, you know, devil's in the details. Mm -hmm. This is detail stuff right here, guys. This is not your average normal builder or anybody. I mean, you, you don't even see a builder. Well, because Brett is a GC, but... And uh, so to put that stuff in there, that, that, that means you're, you, you have a special product 
and you take pride in what you build. And I can see that right there. So just those little detail items is really, really important here. So let's go in this bad boy. Okay, this one's getting ready to ship. This is getting ready to ship. We got a mop in here. I guess we have to mop Ooh. up after us. Man, it feels, it, it feels cool in here. <laughs> so now explain this one. So this is her home right here. This is it. So this is going to be a day bed type of thing. Okay. It will be her sofa. It's going to be her bed. It's going to be everything. Her couch. Oh, yep. Sofa, couch, yeah. Yep. So we have these great big long drawers wow. underneath here that gives her more storage. We, of course, build all of those sorts of things. This is a special drawer, special drawer slides in order to fit all that on there. And not plastic. This is oh, no. wood. This is yeah. three-quarter inch, what, yeah. birch? Or Oh uh, yeah, burst plywood. Burst plywood. I mean, sanded, nice, finished, yeah. detail. I mean, this is so awesome. Yeah. This is just, you know, you just don't see this everywhere. And uh, that's just amazing. Yeah. So this is the kitchen, so, the yeah, living this, room, the whole nine yards. This is going to be her desk and eating area here. She, That's where she's going to have her computer and that's where eat her lunch or maybe on the sofa. She's got a pretty big um, countertop here, you can see. Uh, she's not a big cook, other than, you know, for herself, obviously. Up here, so we have Kitty Avery. This was really important to her. So Avery's litter box will go under here. Oh, for the cat. Yep, yep. And then this will be a combo washer-dryer. Stack will sit up here. Oh. Well, no, just the one unit. Where okay. it does both washing and drying and one. Didn't know you could do that. Unit. Didn't yeah. know that either. Hey, we're learning. Yeah. Did you know that? <laughs> you can wash and dry your clothes in the same piece the of same equipment. Machine, yeah. Same machine. That is amazing. Look, you know, again, yeah. I can tell that's soft clothes by just pulling it. Yeah. Pulling it is hard to pull. So she's got a bunch more wow. prep area over here. Uh, a lot of drawer space. Where I think stove? this is really. Uh, she didn't want she one. Don't She's going to do pot plate, so she uh, just has a range hood. I think it's always important. We always vent to the outside because remember that foam insulation that we talked about? Yeah. It's so important to change the air when you're cooking inside to get that moisture out of there. Um, you know this, what would be perfect there? What's that? If she would think about it, they have those microwave stove. Or uh, microwave oven combinations. I just oh, bought one. Burner, yeah, burners on top. Oven. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That would be perfect right there. Yeah, we've done that quite a lot in, yeah. in these. Yep. So this is her closet, just to show you. Um, we have, uh, yep, they have it installed there. That's her hanging. That's area. her hanging area for her clothes. Uh huh. And then she's got, of course, storage on top. This is kitchen storage here for her. Even though they got these. Mm -hmm. Conco, where you can grab it here to open. They also put the hands on, maybe requested, maybe not. But, you know, again, that's taking up space. Yeah. <laughs> and then the barn door is not up here, but she does have a barn door. You can see the hardware. Oh, there you are. So there's a barn door in this one. Mm -hmm. And then. And it has to be special to build. You're not going to go to Lowe's or Home right. Depot and exactly. buy all these barn doors to fit this hole. Yeah. So all this is built. Look at that. She likes to take showers. That's good because this is a big shower. That's a full size shower in there. Yep. Again, you're a single person. You know, you want to live somewhere off the grid. This is off the grid living, guys. If you wanted to, you just need to find somebody's plug you can plug into, or is it? So that's how you it is. You have a generator, I suppose. You can have a generator. If you can generate a whole house, you can generate this big house. So she's parking it at an RV park oh. over in Tampa. Okay. That's where she'll live. She's actually moving here from North Carolina. She's never lived in Florida. Um, we did her design meeting by uh, Zoom call. Oh, wow. And yeah, so we never even met her until she came down and it was about halfway through. Yeah. <laughs> so is this another one that is this a cash purchase or a mortgage purchase? How uh, is this a... She has an RV loan. Okay. She got a, because it is an RV. Yeah. Perfect. So it's an RV, so you get an RV loan. Yep. And you can see her TV, you got a cable over yep. here, you got a plug for her TV, so here, it's all right here. I mean, this is all you need, right? When you get, I don't know how old the lady is, but, you know, you don't need a whole lot. You know, you want to go outside, that's where the beauty of the outside is, to hang out, play golf, go boating, do all those other things. Well, here you can come and you can rest, shower, eat, or eat out, you know? Yeah, exactly. I mean, a lot of people eat out. 
So this is really unique, guys. I tell you again, they didn't they didn't discount anything. These the windows are the same in here, or they are any other ones. I mean, the AC's in here. And this is a real long cathedral seal. I don't think it's just cool. I really, really love these designs. How many square feet is this? This square foot on this one? 20, okay, I can't do it in my head. 20 by 8 and a half. 20 it's by inside. 8 and a half. 20 foot long, yeah. 8 and a half wide. So if you're a good mathematic, you know, <laughs> Kim and I don't do little numbers. We just do big numbers, you know. But also, there was something else I was going to ask. All right, what does something like this cost on wheels? What's your average or going price on a 20 by 8.5? Right, unit? so this is one of our smallest units, and I want to say we're in the 60s yeah. here. And our largest on wheels, it goes up to 32 feet, and we can get it into the hundreds easily wow. on that. Um, just depends on what they select. Yeah. You know, I would say we have modest selections in here, so very, you know, affordable. Uh, so, yeah. So what about the ones that get planted on the ground? What's the average on those? So those over there, we're starting between probably 65 on up to 75. Again, whatever they select to go on the inside. Not that big of a spread from 65 yeah. to 75. You might as well do the 75. Right. And I that's mean, at our door. So, so that's know, at your door. So now that's picking it up here. Yep. They have to pay for, for delivery. Right. Their lot. And all that stuff. Right. So what's that number here? I know we've talked about them in the yeah. past, somewhere in 100, 120. Right. Like, I think that would be a safe number, but it depends on how far away. The farther you have to transport it, the more it costs. Farther you go, the farther it yeah. costs. That was in the details. Yeah. I don't know about that, guys, but I tell you, this has been a cool interview for me. Uh, Debbie on the other side. I'm not drinking a whole lot of water. I got it in my hand. It looks good. My lungs in the hospital because she's not drinking water. So I need to drink more water. So, you know, these guys, it's corner stone, tiny houses right here in Longwood. We're going to put it back up on our Facebook again. We're going to put back your contact information. We're going to, uh, 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 you can come here in Longwood and see this, meet Kim and Brett, pick out your design, or you can do Zoom. You just heard her say, they're selling these things on Zoom. You want to yeah. show her office where it happens? Want to show her office where it happens? Uh, uh, I don't know. It's kind of like a weedy way of the office, but we can. If Kim all out, we'll go. Let's go. Look at this here. Look. Look at these windows right here. Now look. Now, some people, you guys don't even have this in your own houses or your own rehabs. This is how. This is the the, the detail of what they do. You know, this door was a little bit more expensive than a regular old flat panel door, right? Oh yeah. So so they had it. And you know? we did the kitty door. Don't miss the Yeah, oh, that was a kitty door down there, not the doggy door. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, Watch so your stuff we, there, honey. We outgrew this facility pretty quickly. Five years, you're outgrowing. Yeah, and we built our own little cube offices. It's not much on the outside, but it's pretty cool on the inside. Watch out. <laughs> so they got lines here. I don't see no six feet marks nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> They're in an open area, there's the roller for the floors. Look at this stuff. So Kim, do you have a bunch of designs for them to pick from or do they come in with a design? How does that? Well, the code compliant houses, those are Florida building code compliant. So they have to be approved through the state. So we're not very flexible on those floor plans. However, the ones that are on wheels, the RV travel trailers, they come in and we start from the trailer and go up. Everything is. So, how, what's the most wheels you've ever had under one? In other words, you got so you got single axle, dual axle, and tri axle. We only do double and triple. Tri triple, okay. Yeah. And they're, and they're eight thousand pounds axles. They're, they're very heavy axles. Yeah. So yeah. they're the right again. Yeah. They don't they don't mess around with the details. They put it in there. They watch those details. Things like that. You can buy. A, you can buy a good unit, but if you don't have a good foundation, right. you might be going down the road. Your freaking axle sitting out back, and you're pulling your pulling your home down the road, dragging it on the ground. So again, just really unique. I love it. They use all quality. You know, I've been walking around here, and I'm looking at the materials they're using, like glue, stuff like you know, just some geek like me would see, you know. But it's just stuff that it's just stuff that's very important. I wasn't prepared for company. Yeah, she wasn't prepared for company. Let's see if you can squeeze in here, you know? You don't want to squeeze in? It's cooler. It's cool in here. I'm, I'm sweating a little bit, so let me get on this side with her. Yeah. So, 
You can build a tiny house and do all these. Yeah, there's it. <laughs> so this is all the space you need, right? Yeah. So this is it. Yeah. We you know, custom built this for me. There you for go. My office. You can see I filled it up pretty well though. And he, she's got drapes in it. Look at this. This is a box. You just saw the outside. We were walking around. Now look at the inside. Yeah. yeah. This is amazing. Look at this guy over peeking in the window. You know that guy? He's a creepy guy. He's a Watch creepy that. looking guy. Watch him. <laughs> Let's we'll see if he's gonna come in. So there you goes. went to design school. Uh, what did? How does that work? What does your husband do? Um, Brett is a GC. Uh, he became a GC in gosh, 2002. I don't know. Yeah, and then I graduated from design school in 2000. So yeah. So that made a good marriage for this for this company. Oh yeah. So how did y'all meet? The old fashioned wife. The old fashioned wife? In a bar. In a bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Debbie, we, you and I didn't meet in a bar, but it was close to it. Yeah, um, it was. Yeah. I just didn't have any liquor at it. Uh, we, we met at a wedding, didn't we? Oh, did you? Uh, we met at her store. It's a long story. But, <laughs> so they met at a bar, and look at them now. You know, so who says, you know, love stories can't start in a bar, you know, and businesses can't start in a bar, you know, or on a golf course or whatnot. So, I mean, here it is. I mean, these guys are fabulous. Uh, Same passion. How many units do you think you guys have uh, sold to date? You know, you have any idea? Oh, you know, I somebody asked me that the other day and I thought I need to go back to you. I'm going to guess hundreds. Five years? Five years. Five yeah. years, hundreds? Yeah, yeah. I, what do you? I well, you had twelve <laughs> units in here at one time. She yeah. said yeah. on wheels. Yeah, and yeah. you couldn't find each other. You couldn't. You, you, it's funny. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard to find people when it's when it's uh, filled up like that. Well, when we anybody. walked in here, there were still people here working and cleaning up. So what they were doing because that's what their crew does. And this is Friday, foreclosure Friday. But they're in here cleaning up. You know, getting ready. I said, Hey, are they doing that for us? They said, No, they do that every Friday. So you know what? You start with a clean slate. For Monday, or do you work Saturdays? They Not work? yet, but we're about to. We're about to wow, I don't know how you're not. So you're only doing this deal. five days well, a week? Our guys are good. Yeah, well, two days. I saw what you did in two days. Yeah. And then yeah. I saw what you did on three quarters of the way, or, or yeah, three quarters of the way, and how much little bit of time you spent in that. Five I weeks. wish I could take credit for it. Our guy, we got, we got, a we got the best uh, production manager you could ever ask for yeah. out there. And, uh, and our guys, we have some real talented guys out there. And it looks like it. Like I said earlier, I showed you different things that I just picked out that I noticed that probably people wouldn't look at, or maybe they would. I don't know. You know, like the trim, you know, the the flanges, the, uh, the stuff like that, or the doorways and stuff like that, so you don't get water in and all that the intrusion, and and just the the, the uniqueness of the the tiny groove on the porches outside. Most people just leave them blank, you know, and paint it or whatever, or, yep. you know. But them things are built to last. You know what you just looked at. Is not something that's gonna tear up and. I mean, so that might be a question for you. Have you ever had any recalls on stuff you built that didn't last, like roofs or? I mean, we've and, learned some lessons. About okay, yeah, and, and that's that, that's got to be an answer because if yeah. you built hundreds, that means. And if you haven't, and because well, I was asking that question, a trick question, because if you haven't had any complaints, that means you're not doing enough <laughs> building. So you have done hundreds, and you've had taken from what you've learned right. and made it better. I, mean, know, there's a, I, I was just telling somebody the story today. Um, we've, you know, we used to consider ourselves to be a quality builder, you know, a high, fairly high quality builder. And then when you, when you, when you're, uh, when you're building stuff to send to Montana, I can't send a guy out for a 20 minute window caulk job or something like wow. that. They, they got to be tight before they leave here. So they go through a pretty rigorous, uh, Checking road trip too. Right? Well, that too. Yeah, that, that, because we we've got them in probably most of the states. On wheels, yes. Yeah, absolutely. and uh, I mean we've got some in Alaska. We've got a you know, wow. West Coast. We've got. Wow, we're in three different countries, and uh, I say that there's four units in three countries. Wow. <laughs> it's three different countries. I don't but mean, I, hey, you know, I've spoken different. It's not countries. as cool as it sounds. I spoke in I spoke in Hawaii. That's go. not another country. In, yeah, we, they love us. I know it's not a different country, but they love us in the Virgin Hawaii. Islands. In the Virgin Islands, I'm sure. You know, guys, if you guys want to get a hold of this two couple, this power couple, we call them. Because, you know, power couples do things together and build things together, and they build them to last. And and these are the type of people you need to be around. Again, I said it before when I interviewed these guys, get away from the naysayers. Get away from the people who say it can't be done. Brett says, don't tell me how I can't be done. Tell me how I'm going to do it, you know. And probably Cam has got the same mentality. 
You don't take no for an answer. And whatever product you're working on, if you take pride like these guys do, and I mean, you can see it in these units. I can see it. I don't know if you can see it on that camera, but I can see the quality that they have on these units. For sure. And, and I'm serious. That's, 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 I've been around a few things, and I've built a lot of stuff myself or had contractors, and you can tell these, that they take pride in what they do, and that's why they're so successful at what they're doing. Now, they want to grow and expand. Like I said, we're looking for some larger space to work in. So we're looking. We're helping them look, too. So yeah. we want to grow this thing. Not we. It's them. It's not Debbie and I in their business. We're just a, oh, a piece no. of it. You know, we're just a little piece of it. And we met with them and, and helping them. And they're helping us. We learned. I've learned just today, this tour right here. I want to watch this back on Facebook. I know I've learned some stuff about quality of work. So I can tell my contractors, hey, look at this video. This is the way I want it to look. This is how it should look. And this is how clean it should be when it's done. Make them work when here you... for a couple of weeks. Yeah, maybe send some crew over. I don't know. Brett might not want to train a bunch of knuckleheads. I don't know. But we don't have we knuckleheads. We need, we need to hire. Them. Yeah, well, they're going to be hiring. So there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Cornerstone's going to be hiring. If you're a quality craftsman, because they're not taking anything less, <laughs> contact Brett and, Brett and Kim. I don't know if Brett can teach you any skills. Yeah, I'm sure he probably can. I'd almost rather teach than to get somebody with a big head coming in here. Oh, not, not well, there you go. So you can groom the person. Yeah, absolutely. Just, okay, there you go. So Raise them in our image. No skills. <laughs> Brett's going to teach you. No. You're going to work for free until you get it right, and Brett's going to then hire you Is after that, that training period. <laughs> Heck can, can yeah, it's that? legal. It's called internship. What the hell? It's called internship, right? We've done yeah, that. learning stuff from you. Yes, ma'am. You can, you can have people come in and work from schools or you can have people I mean that's the place they I mean you know you have them come in and work they do an intern there and if you like them then you then you make a, a payment plan with them or a, a salary base with them so mm -hmm. there's all kind of options in this business all kind of real estate now I know this is foreclosure Friday we're not talking about foreclosures or anything like that because these things aren't going to foreclosures because it's so cheap being cheap in, in price not quality right. so inexpensive should be my word and again it's affordable housing think about this Look at the market. Look at what's going on. Look what's happening all around. Look at the people being displaced from homes. Look at the people who are having to live in multiple homes and they can't stand each other. You know what? They can handle this. Like Kim said earlier, you got to be able to love each other, like each other, live in these 366 or 368. But I'm telling you, I can see it. I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of outdoors on the other side of that door when you go outside, so well, you, you can know, get away. The affordable thing is, is what people... They hear the price like I'm not paying that for that, but it, it, we're, we're talking about your options are fourteen hundred dollars is the average rent in Central Florida. Um, our prices, and that's for rental, um, with one of our foundation units, we're talking about something that's going to appreciate that you're going to get your money back out when you move out of it, and we're talking about six six hundred bucks a month. Six hundred bucks a that's month. That's home ownership. Yeah. And you know what's interesting? One of the cool stats is we're always into the. Uh, affordable housing element of this statistics and everything like that. what's going on you know that there's no shortage of bedrooms in the in the United States but there's a huge shortage of affordable housing so if you guys live in a how many bedroom house we do we're the same way yeah. those bedrooms are empty so this makes well, I kind of more sense. Out, she won't let me well <laughs> they, I'll tell you there's another business we, we've got people that do that Airbnb these oh yeah and oh. I mean they're they're knocking down over two thousand bucks deal. a month yeah. And then, you know, a $600 a month payment, you're making money the day that thing if our, if our condo gets blown off the map in Longboat Key, we're buying a tiny house to replace it. There you go. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> I don't think so, we need something in Longboat Key. Yes, we yes, do. We That's do. a beautiful place yeah. over there. Anyway, what time is it? Anybody got a time? We uh, uh, quarter four. Quarter to four. We've been on here for a few minutes. <laughs> Debbie's done really well holding that camera. She, she, didn't, fall off. she didn't fall out of the units. She didn't fall out of the units. We kind of guided her. Kim was concerned about that. We made sure she didn't... Uh, Stubble knee, you know, like me. And uh, hey, we really appreciate you guys being on here today. Hey, if you like this, share it. You know what? There's so much negativity out there in the world. Share something that's positive, beautiful, and something you might be able to get involved in. You know, like and share these posts because, you know, again, we're raw and we're real. We, we took about a two minute conversation before we shot this video. And it may show. I don't know. I like it raw and real because, you know, we're not hiding anything. We just, whatever comes out, comes out. Whatever's here is here. And we're giving you real stats, real time, you know, real information. And that's what we do on Foreclosure Friday. I'm not going to tell you or talk about anything that I haven't witnessed myself or used myself or been friends with myself. 
So I will not bring anybody on that I'm not in that type of category, if you want to say. So anyway, thank you for show, showing up for us. Don't forget Foreclosure Friday. I know, I know the moratorium has been uh, uh, increased till extended till December 31st on the short sales on foreclosures and evictions. That's okay. Don't worry about it, guys. There's so much business out there. I'm telling you, we've got new ways of doing it. Mm -hmm. We've got new ideas. We've got things that we have been doing in this process to get them homeowners to lighten up and let us help them through this, even though they know they have till December 31st before the auctions or all the foreclosures start again. There's mm -hmm. ways to make money prior to all that. The fourth quarter is going to be tough, but you know what? Tough people last. Tough times don't. See you soon. Have an awesome day. I'm Hunter Pascal, and I'm your man.